What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, I'm Angelina, and I'm here with another video for you guys. Those of you who have no idea who I am, I'm the owner of Allure 96 Hair and Lash and also the brand owner of AmaniJelena.co, okay? So make sure you like this video and also don't forget to subscribe. Uh, lastly, I will be adding some super amazing wigs to my website, so definitely go ahead and check out Allure96.co. Com, okay, and I'll leave you guys a discount code in the description box to save y'all some coins. But the reason I'm making this video, if you're not familiar with my channel, I'm always dropping gems on you guys. When I learn new information, I am super quick to run back to my camera to tell you guys about all this information. So I'm all about saving a coin and I want to help my ladies, okay? I want to help, I want to help all my sisters out there, okay? So as you can see from the title, this is basically how you can go about getting a free P.O. box, okay? And if you guys don't know what a P.O. box is, a P.O. box is basically like a virtual mailbox. And how it works is you go to the post office, you pick up your mail, they send you mail, and all that good stuff. So nothing physically comes to your home. Now, I'm also going to put some receipts up and some things up on the screen so you guys can read along with me directly from the U. U usps website and so forth because whenever i put these free videos up people have so much to say whether it's good or bad so i'm just going to start showing you everything and how i get this information as well so basically ups offers non-fee p.o boxes and how you go about getting these non-fee p.o boxes and i just want to make this super clear i do have a p.o box myself i pay for a p.o box so i pay the P.O. box that I have now, I paid for six months in advance, but you can also pay like up to a year. And it's not that expensive at all. Um, it's for me, my P.O. box is just like a, a medium sized P.O. box. For my paid P.O. box, I paid roughly about like 50 bucks for it. Okay. For six months, which is not a long, not a lot of money. But if you do want to just, you know, save your ducks, save your coin and things like that, because this is what I'll be doing next once my six months is over once my six months has ended i'm going to open up a non-fee p.o box now the only thing is with this with these non-fee p.o boxes is that you can you can only receive mail if that makes sense so mails letters things like that you can't physically receive shipments um so this would act this particular thing would be good for someone if they just need like a return label on their packaging but not really you know I wouldn't necessarily use this as a return label for your packaging, but I would use this if you, um, you know, if you're expecting mail from someone or uh, if you're putting this on all of your like business, like your business address and things like that, you can use that P.O. box address. But just be mindful, you cannot, with a non-fee P.O. box, you cannot receive shipment. So you can't order from your vendor and get it shipped to your P.O. box because eh, they said no way. Okay, no way, Jose. <laughs> you would have to open up a real well you would have to open up a paid p.o box plan with the united states postal service so i just want you guys to be mindful of that so i bet you guys are like okay so how do i go about doing this so basically uh if, if you do decide to open up a non-fee p.o box you would just head over to your uh, united states postal service office so you'll head over to the post office you'll talk to one of the tellers and you'll just say hey i want to open up a non-fee p.o box they'll let you know because because at every post office they only have so many non-fee boxes available so they'll let you know if they have any open if they do have any open you just fill out the application i'm i'm pretty sure the application is just as similar as the paid version of the p.o boxes and with that being said they ask for your like license or your state id to confirm like your address they also ask for even though your per your home address won't be used they also ask for like your name uh and then all of your additional like personal information just so that they can tie tie all of your mail to that PO box okay you just talk to one of the tellers at the post office and then they'll sh they should be able to help you out from there but i do i hope this video is super beneficial to you guys 
If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you have any questions directed personally towards me, send it to amanijelina at gmail.com. And if you guys need any coaching or any mentor section, any mentor sessions, you can also reach out to me as well. I'm a little under the weather today. That's why I'm not like super spunky. But don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Otherwise, I will see you love lovelies in my next video.